And believe it or not, it's one of the busiest times of year for people planning spring break and summer vacation. So we are calling in <laughs> travel expert Beth Dubstat with Loveland and C Travel. Uh, and she has some advice on the best <laughs> ways to plan ahead for this. And you do. You look out there. And I'm a guy who uh, the cold doesn't tend to bother me. But I'm, I'm okay now if, yeah. if we go ahead and make it warm and get us someplace <laughs> warm. As people are planning, where, where are people wanting to go other than just warm? Where's a great place to go? Um, you know, right now it's a really good idea to look at Mexico and Punta Cana. Oh, okay. um, And that's because Cincinnati, we have these nonstop flights. Mm. And there's a new company that's actually doing some additional nonstop flights. So it, it upped the competition a little bit. So prices have gone down. Okay. okay. So, and you can get to some of those locations with direct flights now, right? Direct flights. It's a quick nonstop flight. You can get there in under four hours, which Do is just fantastic. Are wow. people worried about some of the stories about the alcohol in Mexico? I know that there have been some concerns about that, though. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's kind of died down a lot. I mean, there's a lot of hype for a while, but when people really started looking at the facts, um, I think they learned that it was a little blown out of proportion. Um, it's it's just like the, the United States. You know, there are, is going to be crime in some areas, less crime in other areas, so you just have to be, you know, careful anywhere you travel. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily, I, at least for me, I don't necessarily think of, of Mexico as a family travel destination, but I like plenty of things to do, I guess, for the whole family. Absolutely, there yeah. are there are some wonderful things to do. Everything from underground rivers, you can do um, cenotes, snorkeling. Um, I mean, there's just so many options down there. Cool. I'm actually taking my son there. Is oh, all nice. inclusive? Yeah. All nice. inclusive, the way to go for a family vacation if you're going to go to Especially these places. Especially if you have um, like teen teenage boys <laughs> who like to eat a lot. <laughs> um, I've heard a lot of a lot of my clients say, "I need to go somewhere where I can keep my kids fed." You know, full of yeah. full of food. Um, yet once you get down there, it's nice to just not have to keep you know spending more money so all-inclusive is a great way to go now several months ago we reported on these mystery deals where you don't know where you're going when you book the vacation is that a popular thing to do Beth it is a popular thing to do and there there are even some of the um, traditional tour operators that are doing that Apple vacations which has those non-stop flights out sure. of Cincinnati uh -huh. they have a mystery deal where you are guaranteed a certain star rating basically so you know it's gonna be like a four-star resort but you have no idea which one it is until the morning of um, and that can wow. be exciting um, it can be a little scary Scary, but you save money as well. Yeah, that I mean that is I mean I, I don't know why I got tense just even imagining. <laughs> How that, would you prepare for it? That's what I would. Well, you know, know right? you're, you know the destination, so you know you're going to be in Mexico, for example. You can say Riviera Maya or Cancun. Uh -huh. So you know, you know what, how to dress. Um, yeah. You pretty much know what to expect as far as the level of service. You just don't know exactly which one. Oh wow! Plus I'm a quick packer. It'll be no problem. <laughs> man. Three things in a bag, and I'm ready to go. Right. Uh, so you know all-inclusive stuff those are pretty popular destinations mm -hmm. anything sort of off the beaten path or like the next big thing out there that families might be interested in you know um, there's a lot of talk about Iceland <laughs> well yeah. sure yeah. Again, well, airlines right <laughs> exactly um, now for you know in my opinion that's gonna be for older kids um, if you're going with the family I think younger kids would have a difficult time with some of the activities there some of the hiking um, and the lack of traditional ed uh, you know entertainment for sure. for young kids yeah. now I, I know because I've worked with Beth before it, it, a lot of these vacations have excursions or tours that you're going to want to go on when you're on a cruise or on an all-inclusive mm -hmm. should you wait till you get there to figure out what's best or should you book that in advance you no know, a lot of times you can wait but over spring break you don't want to wait um, the most popular tours are going to sell out so it's important to do that in advance okay and that's what I was going to ask is now the best time to go ahead and do things or will deals get better the closer you get to traditional spring break time for spring break the deals are not going to get any better okay. um, January is a fantastic time to book um, especially because we're in wave season which is what the cruise lines um, call their, their biggest sale season okay. so that goes you know January till March but you're gonna want to book right. soon if you want to get the good availability and the best deals you want you want more advice like that love land and sea travel Beth Dubstep thank you so much thank you yeah, you're great, right. Beth. thanks for some time today and we'll be right back